I mean, even the Have other day been. when they... Whoa! Whoa! What? That's no! Not oh my god. It appears there has been a Ship 36 just blew up. Hi everyone, JJ here. Welcome back. Yes, well, Elon Musk is having a bad week with that Starship explosion, this time on the launch pad. It was a test, but it was a massive explosion and also robo taxis being delayed. Or is this a blessing in disguise or is this on purpose that he might be able to blame the regulators for delaying it till September? We'll get into that. That's what's in this video. The headline here, Texas lawmakers send letter to Tesla asking to delay robo taxi rollout in Austin. That's right. Or did he engineer that? But first, let's go back to the Starship test. Elon just saving time and blowing them up on the ground. Now, this post on X says so. This is a silent one where we can see this massive explosion, and it apparently it did damage the surrounds there, the launch pad. You can see those tanks there. And there was a multiple explosion. See, it looks like it's over there, but then there's another massive explosion out the side. So, not great. There must have been a lot of fuel there to make that kind of explosion pretty incredible. Okay, let's move on. This is the meme, of course, when a starship blows up, and there have been a lot of them failing and blowing up. Gulf of SpaceX debris. We didn't get to that this time because it didn't get off the ground. And it's worth remembering this. People say it's going very well. You know, you just have to iterate. But SpaceX or Elon Musk back here in 2016 will start a cadence of sending dragons to Mars in two years. Will be like a train leaving the station. So that was the plan, one of his projections that didn't work out. And this comment on here, remember when this happened in 2018, that was lit. So this was expected to happen in 2018, according to Elon. And so they're way behind schedule here. And this is Thunderfoot. I'm sure a lot of you know who Thunderfoot is, making videos about Elon and his predictions. And he's saying that Elon and Tesla are a fraud. He says Elon Musk promised 25 starships in 2025. In six months thus far, he has delivered four failures and zero successes. Three exploded starships and one out of control and then disintegrated and melted. Cost to the US taxpayer of about $1 billion. Truly the cyber truck of the skies. And so he follows this up by saying US taxpayer dollars spent on Musk Starship this year. About four blown up rockets out of 10 total. Total handouts spent thus far about three billion US dollars. So the fireworks represent about a billion dollars of taxpayer money, fact. And somebody says here, tries to catch him out saying, Starship is funded by Starlink, not taxpayers. That being said, if you're not failing, you're not innovating. So this is the line pumped out by Elon Jellicle saying that, that Starlink is paying for this, but Thunderfoot knows better. Reality called and said, you're wrong by about $3 billion and counting. And it is on this website here, usaspending.gov. You'll notice here the name Space Exploration Technologies Corp, which is SpaceX. And this is the awarding agency for funding, NASA, and we have the record of spending there. So yes, it is in the billions and climbing all the time. So that is one more very expensive explosion to the US taxpayer. And Dan O'Dowd here moving to FSD, full self-driving, supervised at the moment. So Dan O'Dowd has been very critical of FSD and what Tesla's doing, trying to get it out there to be robo-taxis. He says it's nowhere near ready. Got examples of that later on. There are examples on X that people posting 
you know, crowdsource videos of just their driving, their dashboard cams. There's a lot of mistakes still. But Dan O'Dowd says Texas lawmakers don't want their voters to be Tesla's crash test dummies. What a relief for Elon Musk. He finally has his excuse to delay the rollout of his robo taxis. So we'll take a look at what that letter says in a minute. But it's followed up here. Motorhead on X says, if I own the Texas legal system, he's saying that Elon Musk has a lot of influence there, was what he's saying there, and needed to delay a highly anticipated robo-taxi launch due to more glitches in my half-baked FSD software. This is exactly the kind of letter I'd have them issue for all to see. Brilliant off ramp for Musk until September 1st. So that's what the letter says. It's asking Elon to delay it. So is this actually what he wants? We'll look a bit deeper into this. But if you're getting value out of this episode so far, I'd really appreciate it. If you remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people, that would really help. Thanks. Okay, let's move on. And we have this. The letter said that Texas legislature approved a revision to the state's 2017 autonomous vehicle operations framework and mentioned how this new law goes into effect this September. So they basically want Tesla to wait until then. Under the new framework, commercial autonomous vehicle operators transporting passengers or property must receive prior authorization from the Department of Motor Vehicles before operating on public streets without a human driver. And it says in order to get the authorization, an operator must demonstrate each vehicle is. And it's got a bunch of requirements here that Tesla has to meet. So they really want Tesla to, to wait and to pass all these things. Make sure it's all right before they launch, which seems you know fair enough considering that lives are at stake here. They say, as members of the Austin delegation of the Texas Senate and Texas House of Representatives, we are formally requesting that Tesla delay autonomous taxi operations until the new law takes effect on September 1st, 2025. We believe this is in the best interest of both public safety and building public trust in Tesla's operations. The letter said, if Tesla still proceeds with its plans to launch this month, that's June 2025, sometime this month, they request that the company responds to this letter with detailed information demonstrating that Tesla will be compliant with the new law upon the launch of driverless operations in Austin. So it wants Tesla to prove that it meets those requirements. And with the RoboTaxi, somebody did this video of what it's like inside at the UI of the RoboTaxi. See, there's the RoboTaxi there. It says, here's a look at the RoboTaxi UI. Two large buttons say pull over and emergency stop. Those See those big red buttons there, an orange button. Good look at things ahead of the launch. So I've said before, I must admit, if I was riding in one of these things, given the state of it, I would be sitting in the passenger seat and with my hand over one of those buttons ready to abort if I saw anything because some of the videos coming out of it still are pretty scary. Let's have a look at some of them. So these are just latest ones. Now, we're going to take that. So I don't know what, I think it was just trying to make that right hand turn there. Uh, it was really slowing down. It probably would have worked its way over, um, which would have been, yeah, no, that just, that was sloppy. That was, that was a little dirty. So first of all, it didn't need to make that turn there. I don't see any traffic. So They're being pretty kind there, but what happened was an attempt at a right turn from the far lane into the path of another car, forcing the driver to quickly disengage. Ban it now, Dan O'Dowd says. So you wouldn't want that to happen when you're in a robo taxi. Do you have to stop it yourself when hitting one of those buttons? You have to be alert. It's not, not a surprise that they're having tele operators. And this is another one, Tesla FSD, not stopping for a red light. So it turns the corner. There, there's a stop sign there, arguable whether it does the right thing there as well. But there's a stop light up here. It just, it just blows through that red light. See that? So again, do you really want that happening if you're in a robo taxi? Here's again blowing through another red light or wanting to go through a red light, but the driver is supervising and just stopped it. So it's moving forward there and wanting to do the wrong thing and the person stopped there. Here's another one where it's hitting the curb. See there? 
then this driver says it always cuts the cur- <laughs> it cuts the corners really close there and there's a sign there so that's another problem all these problems if you were in a robo taxi would you want all this to be going on or you'd be pretty freaked out sitting there i think this is another one which is pretty egregious i think where it's turning which turns this corner and it turns into the wrong lane wrong side of the road so head-on collision danger there there are no cars coming except for far away but that is the wrong side of the road again if you were in a robo taxi there's a car there i mean you wouldn't want that would you so i think there's a long way to go what do you think of all this not a good week for tesla i said with the starship and uh, you know blowing taxpayer money on that although some people don't seem to think so and then the fsd being delayed but is that a blessing in disguise let me know what you think about that i would like to know would you get into one of these robo taxis given you know what you see and and how, what the state of it is right now or is, is elon delaying it on purpose with the help of the texas authorities what do you think let me know And right now I'm going to put a related video right there. Do go and see that now if you want to. And a subscribe link on screen. Do subscribe if you want to get more of these in the very near future. I'm doing them five days a week. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.